Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the awards ceremony of the Ironman 70.3 South Africa Buffalo City Tri Club Championship. What an amazing day we had. After a lot of waiting and a lot of postponements, we eventually got to race. And with that in mind, I want to say thank you to our athletes that raced with us today. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for putting up with all of the back and forth. And we hope that 18 months of training delivered a great result for you today. Speaking about your race, let's have a look at a little teaser video from Big Shot Productions of what today was like. And as you know, races of this nature don't happen without great partnerships. And for the past 14 years, we've had some incredible partners here in Buffalo City. Let's say a big thank you to our sponsors on screen now. So it's been 18 months in the making with plenty of delays, as I've mentioned before. Your patience brought you a great result today. We started this morning at 6.35 with our men and women professional athletes taking to the water at the same time. We had the likes of Cameron McNair, James McCullough, Mike Ferreira, Gerard De Brain, the evergreen Gerard De Brain, and of course our eventual champion, Matt Troutman. In the ladies' race, we had Natia van Heerden and Mariella Sawyer, who were battling it out for that win at this prestigious event. At the end of the day, it was Natia and Matt that claimed the win. But of, other than that, outside the professional race, we had these incredible age group heroes. I call them heroes because they train hard and they work full-time jobs. Many of them are moms and dads, and they put in all the effort to get here and come and race. And uh, we had such a great representation from around the country. The biggest province represented here this weekend was the province of Gauteng. Somehow, they are absolutely owning triathlon at the moment. They love coming down to the sea and race racing here with us and then of course uh, the locals in uh, East London were just absolutely brilliant with the way they welcomed us. No spectators allowed at the race which was a very different feeling I've got to be honest but still the vibe was here as they say in South Africa the hiss amongst our volunteers and our Ironman crew was just phenomenal giving each finisher an incredible day to remember for the rest of their lives. What an amazing day we had. With that in mind we talk about our sponsors, we talk about our partners Ladies and gentlemen, for the last 14 years, the city of Buffalo City, East London, have been our partners at this event, and we have a short message from them. On behalf of the people of uh, Buffalo City, I would like to welcome all of you who have participated uh, in the 2021 Ironman Tri Triathlon. We really appreciate uh, that uh, despite uh, the regulations and the conditions imposed upon us by COVID-19, you, you were able to find uh, time to participate in this year's event. We are quite grateful as a city for that, and we hope to see you in the, in the near future. Once again, a massive thank you to the city of Buffalo City, East London, for the last 14 years of your support. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. There's another group of people, often invisible, who make this possible, who make the athlete experience the incredible thing that it is, and those are our volunteers. Today, they were the men and women and the boys and girls in the gray shirts from the local high schools and moms and dads of those uh, boys and girls who came out, gave their time, teachers from the school as well, who came out and gave their time today to make your race special. We don't see them many times, but they are always there making sure you get your nutrition, making sure you get your medal, making sure that your finish line is amazing. One more time, a massive thank you to our volunteers here in East London. Now, the name of the race is the Ironman 70.3 South Africa Buffalo City African Tri Club Championship. And I want to focus on that last bit, the African Tri Club Championship. In the last five years or so, we've noticed that very few athletes aren't members of Tri Club Championship or Tri Clubs, which meant that we wanted to establish a championship event where those Tri Clubs could compete for the title of King of Africa. And that's what we've done here. Who will be the King of Africa? Stay with us. We're going to find out soon. 
14 years of racing in Buffalo City, and there are some amazing people who've done 10 out of those 14 races. And I just want to go through their names. We've got Andrew Moss, Bradley Fleming, we've got uh, Clenay van Veek, we've got George Winship, who I saw finish today. Well done, George. Our professional that came fifth, Gerrit de Brain, is one of those athletes that's done 10 races here. The legendary Hanno Otto, Justin Butler, and Marsha Vessels. If you think 10 years is impressive, how's this? The race has been running for 14 years, and there are some athletes that have done all 14 of them. These are those brilliant athletes. We've got Michael Webb, the legendary Patty Clutie, who deserves a special mention because she's done every Ironman branded race in South Africa. She's been there, she's done it, and she did it again today. Patty, you are amazing. We're so proud of you. And then a man that I got to watch finish today, and he was so excited to tell us that he'd done all 14 races. Well done, Roy Brennan. You, sir, are a legend. Whether it's 14 years, whether it's 10 years, or if today was your first race like it was for 30% of the field, congratulations on your achievement. At Ironman, we say to finish is to win. So even though your name may not be mentioned in the awards ceremony, the fact that you have a medal around your neck proves to us that you are a champion here today. Let's get into the actual awards now, and we'll start with the African Tri-Club champions. Who will be the king of Africa? Here we go. In third place... Ladies and gentlemen, the team from Quebecha, Port Elizabeth, third place, Aspire, hashtag live fit. In second place, their coaches are based in, uh, in Quebecha, in Port Elizabeth, but they have athletes around the country, coached and led by uh, Richard Laurie. Ladies and gentlemen, your second place tri club champion is Matrix Multisports. And now time to crown the King of Africa, the African Tri-Club Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, they are also based in Quebec. I'm starting to feel that Port Elizabeth has something in the water that breeds great athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, your African Tri-Club Champions is Team Tissink Triathlon, also known as 3T. Congratulations. Congratulations to our African Tri Club champions, 3T, Team Tissink Triathlon. And I saw Reynard on the course today, and I've said this a few times today, he actually looks younger nine years later after I first met him. So well done, Reynard, and well done to your team. We go now into our relay results, and this is the overall relay results. And your champions, with a race time of 5 hours, 53 minutes, and 25 seconds, it is Team Fast and Furious. Moving now into the age group race, and when you see the times that these age groupers did, you will be blown away. In the ladies category, 18 to 24. In the ladies race, it was Mache Pretorius in third place. Joining Mache in the men's race, it was Jacques Badenost, 18 to 24, third place. Moving now to the second step of the podium, Jani Helslinger in the ladies race. In the men's race, it was Connor Mercer. And let's celebrate those champions. With a race time of 5 hours, 6 minutes, 10 seconds, Alexandra Klaassen. 18 to 24 category for the men's race. 4 hours, 11 minutes, 45 seconds. Make some noise for James Stewart Harbour. Moving to the next category, this is the category 25 to 29 in the ladies' race in third place with a race time of 5 hours, 12 minutes, Hanre van der Feifer. In the men's race with a race time of 4.28, it is Matthew Ralphs. Well done. Second step on the podium in the ladies' race, 25 to 29, Lisa Fisser. Joining her on the second step in the men's race, well done, racing four hours 24, Manfred Lamprechts. And time for those champions. Winning the ladies race 25 to 29 with a race time of four hours and 46 minutes, 31 seconds, Christine Harding, congratulations. In the men's race, not too far off, four hours, 23 minutes and eight seconds, well done to your champion, Alex Rousseau. Onward and upward we go to the 30 to 34 category. Third position in the ladies' race, Rizan Lotz. Congratulations. In the men's race, joining her on the third step, it's Gareth Dias. Second position in the category 30 to 34, Charnel Biles in the ladies' race. 
And the man that put together the tri club called Stack Spun joins here on the second step in this age category. Congratulations, Nico Stack. Time for those champions in the 30 to 34 age group. Mareka Mouton, your ladies champion. And recently moved from professional to age grouper, winning this race four hours, nine minutes for the men, Rudolf Nordia. On we go to the category 35 to 39, and the names amongst the ladies are the names that you hear often on the podium. In third place, please welcome Kelly Skates. Joining her on the third step of the podium, 35 to 39. In the men's race, it was Benjamin Janser van Rensburg from Matrix Multisport. Second place on the podium in this race, 35 to 39, Toinette Fannykirk. And then one of our athletes completing 10 years of racing here in Buffalo City. Second place in the men's race, Bradley Fleming. Time to celebrate those incredible champions in the category 35 to 39. In the women's race, it was Eulalie Chos, winning with a race time of 4 hours and 5 minutes and 38 seconds. In the men's race, it was Ievert Kleinans. Onward and upward we go, 40 to 44. These are the guys that more than likely have children and families and other expectations, and still they find the time to train and to win. Third place in the ladies' race, 40 to 44, Monica Kruschel. In the men's race, it was the one and only Thomas Shaw. Congratulations, Tomo. Second place on the podium, from South Africa, racing five and a half hours, Karika Burton. Joining Karika on the podium in second place, Bradley Burkholz, who I think is from the Eastern Cape. Well done, Brad. And your champions in the category 40 to 44 in the ladies' race, racing five hours, 31-35, Adele Batel. And on the champion step of the podium, it is a man that we've known for a long time. Can you believe it? He's raced four hours and five minutes. That time is phenomenal. Well done, Donovan Geldenes. Moving to the 45 to 49 category now, in third place for the ladies, Natasha Dutoy. Congratulations, Natasha. On the men's side of the action, in third place, it was the one and only and the very talented Rodney Westgate. Second place in the ladies' race with an incredible race time of 5 hours and 38 minutes, 31 seconds. Well done, Nicole Vaya. And on the men's side, with round about an hour difference, four hours 29, Andre Buerta in second place. On to the top step in the race category, 45 to 49. In the ladies' race, your champion racing five hours, 28.55. Well done, Chantal Nosworthy. And a man who is well known in South African triathlon circles. He's a multiple Ironman champion, not only winning here in South Africa, but also overseas. The coach of the winning tri club, please welcome your champion, Reynard Tissink. Well, if you thought the uh, 45 to 49 category was impressive, how's this? We move now to the 50 to 54 category in the ladies' race, representing South Africa, racing five hours, 27 minutes. Sanette Crystal is in third place. Congratulations. In the men's race, on the other side of the draw, four hours, 49 minutes, on the dot, zero, zero seconds. Well done, Kirby Price. Moving to second step of the podium in the category 50 to 54. Well done to Janelle van der Riet. In the men's race, racing four hours, 47 minutes. It is the man himself, Thomas Barlow. And we actually called him the man on the finish line. Time for your champions, ladies and gentlemen, racing five hours, nine minutes, one second. Your ladies champion, Magdalena Schlesinger. In the men's race, with an impressive run of 1 hour, 23 minutes and 26 seconds, please welcome your champion, J.C. Helslinger. Up we go, 55 to 59. It is the ladies' race, third place. Well done, Joni Kutsia. 
James is a good name for a triathlete, and it's third place on the podium for James Kamel in the category 55 to 59. Back to the ladies we go. The silver medal, the second step on the podium, racing five hours, or six hours, sorry, six minutes, Tina van Veek. And when we told Tina she was going to be on the podium, she argued with us. Well, we were right about you, Tina. We were also right about Paul Bridell from South Africa, racing six hours on the dots in second place. Your champion in the category 55 to 59 in the ladies race with an impressive run time of an hour and 55 minutes after biking for 90 kilometers. Your ladies champion is Linda Potts. Congratulations, Linda. Five hours, 20 minutes, 38 seconds. That was the time of our champion in this category in the men's race. Your champion, Wayne McFarlane. Congratulations. So that's the ladies' race done. We turn our attention to the last two age categories in our men's race. The men's category, 60 to 64. This is where the word legend comes in as these men go and show us that age is nothing and that anything is possible. In third place in the men's race, 6 hours, 10 minutes. 60 to 64, 6 hours, 10 minutes. Tony Ledler. Second place, racing even faster than that. Five hours, 28 minutes. It's Stephen Myers. Congratulations, Stephen. 60 to 64 years old. How's this? Racing five hours, six minutes, two seconds. He had a 147.32 run, which is absolutely amazing. Your champion in the category 60 to 64, it is Roger Hook. Just one more age category to go before we say goodbye and tell you about the great races coming up in the rest of the year and early next year. It's the category 65 to 69. Swimming 15 minutes, 57 seconds. Biking 309, which is way faster than me. And running 226, which is also faster than me. 65 to 69 category. Your champion, Guy Talbot. You, sir, are amazing. So what a great race we had with the professional athletes here in Buffalo City, the 14th edition of the race, as they lined up together, men and women together, in a mass start running into that 19-degree Indian Ocean water this morning at 6.35. In the women's race, though, we had a phenomenal result, racing 4 hours and 27 minutes, 25 seconds. The lady whose husband takes photographs at the race, well done, Mariella Sawyer. Your champion in the ladies' race. And I tell you, I saw her come out the water. She looked amazing. I saw her finish the bike with a massive lead, and she started running. She was running easily, sub four minutes a K, and she held that pace like a metronome. The whole way, your champion racing four hours, 19 minutes and 50 seconds. Well done on your first win here in Buffalo City, Natia van Heerden. So if the ladies gave us something to cheer about, the men certainly did as well. He said it was his best run split yet. In third place, Michael Ferreira, congratulations. And the man who took us all to school representing Matrix Multisports as a professional, he raced three hours, 54 minutes, and got himself into second place after coming off the bike way behind. It's James McCullum. What a run. He's won here many times, and he's an evergreen champion. He's one of the nicest men you'll meet. His name is the captain. He raced three hours, 47 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2021 champion here in Buffalo City, it's Matt Troutman. So we've spoken about how well these athletes have had to persevere and how long they've waited, 18 months to get to this race. And when will the next uh, race be available? Well, I've got good news for you. There are entries open for two races already. There is the Ironman African Championship event happening on the 21st of November. And entries are still open. You can still get in, you can still join us, and you can still come and race. If you'd like to take on what is fast becoming the most popular race in the 70.3 circuit, you need to come and join us in the beautiful city of Durban, Etiquini. It's my hometown. I'm going to brag about it. It is a beautiful race. The Ironman 70.3 Durban is on the 5th of June 2022. And, guys, entries are open. So go on, get your entry in. Don't wait around because people are hungry for racing. You don't want to miss out. Nelson Mandela Bay, Quebec, Ironman African Championship. Get those entries in. You also don't want to miss out in joining us in beautiful Durban next year on the 5th of June. 
So that pretty much brings us to the end of our awards ceremony. Thank you so much for racing with us. There are a long list of thank yous that we could say, but instead of talking, let's wrap this up by showing you just how amazing today was, and more importantly, just how amazing you were. Big Shot Media, show us that video. Say they'll make you a star if you'll just sign your name.